<laughs> Welcome to the Panda Palace. Today, you can hear the echo in here because the walls are still bare. So hopefully you can hear me okay. We Today, we are gonna be having breakfast and heading to the market. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> And as you can see, my Maganda Asawa is still in her pretty little pink striped, pretty <laughs> little pink striped jammies. Look at these star apples. Oh man, star apples, these things. I have discovered these and they are absolutely fantastic. They are yummy, yummy, yummy for my tummy, tummy, tummy. And we've got a whole boatload of them because I'm gonna eat every one of them because I'm a pig. <laughs> so let's have breakfast and get changed so that we can head to the market. We've got 30 minutes before it opens and we're gonna get there early before that Philippine heat really starts to sink in. And we've made it to the mini market. <laughs> every, every, everybody's staring. Nobody has seen a white man on a bike before, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So I guess I can turn this around. I'm not on the bike. No uh, risk of uh, my hat flying off. So um, first impressions is uh, this place is really busy. <laughs> so uh, happening spot. Lots of different stuff here. Lots of native wear. Uh, a lot of the indigenous people are here at this market. So uh, getting a whole lot of uh, handcrafts and different things. Vic's sister-in-law uh, can speak the native languages. So because she can speak the native languages, she's over there negotiating right now for a uh, knife. And of course, I am uh, hiding over here because we don't want to get the foreigner price. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly. So we're going to try an experiment. She uh, she was able to buy my bolo uh, for 470 pesos. Now I'm going to go over and look at the bolos and find out how much they offer for me.
How much? Five hundred? Five five hundred for one? Oh nice. Can I see? Can you open? Oh wow. Beautiful. Do you hand make these? That's nice. Oh, the little knife. Oh, that's nice too. That's nice too. And you make the sheath and everything, all handmade. What's that? You buy and then you did for Creamy Friends for Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the product here in Philippines very nice. Very nice, yes. yes. Even, even the fruit. Even the fruit, yes. yes. Everything here seems to be very nice. Thank you. Are you from California? No? Oh, but you say you, your hat says California, so maybe I think you're from California. California. <laughs> So, um, actually, pleasantly surprised with that. Sometimes it's a toss-up. Um, uh, she got it for 480, but they uh, they told me it was 500. So, not that much of an increase. But she probably negotiated down from 500. So, um, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag sometimes on whether or not uh, you know people see a foreigner coming and they decide that they're going to. Uh, uh, do the foreigner price thing, just like a price gouge you, because, you know, they think all foreigners are rich. John John! Wow! Let's see it, John John. Yeah. Let's see it. Nice. Looks good, man. Yeah. Like that sheath. Got that nice pattern built into it. I'll let you hold on to it. <laughs> I'm a market lady now. You're the market lady now? What did you find? Anything good? Yes. Uh, gin. For, uh, no, that's the basic. Ginger. Ginger? I got beans. Look. Beans? Here uh, you Okay. Standing downwind of that uh, watermelon, you can actually smell it. So fresh. Buhay, pagkamatay at kamatayan mula sa kabuhay ng ating pagkusto. That's one thing about the Philippines. You can't go anywhere without there being some sort of announcer uh, talking, somebody uh, out preaching or doing something like that. There, there always has to be some sort of announcement. There, there's, there's never a moment of quiet or silence in the Philippines. You'll figure that one out. <laughs> well, that's it for the mini market. We're going to climb back on the bike here and uh, head on back to the house. Um, Bought a couple tools, bought an adjustable wrench and some pair of vice grips. Uh, spent about uh, six bucks for them, so not too bad at all. Better than Harbor Freight. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the la ladies to finish using the CR before we jump back on the long trip home, which is not very long. Just a quick hop, a couple minutes. There she is. There she is. You're your Afletis Vik, <laughs> the famous. And we made it back and got a new bucket from where the yes. other one was dropped. Got my bolo and my Bye. tools. Got a bunch of good yummy veggies. Now, now, now she's dangerous. I have to be on my uh, best behavior or she's gonna chop me with the bolo in the middle of the night. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and we will see you on the next Bad Panda videos. You're coming back. You know you are. Woo! Dangerous.
you wanted the bigger one? Yeah, longer like this. Oh, yeah, longer like that? I think this is the biggest they have. Because Some of the small ones like Yeah, so 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 you want you want American sized and not Filipino size? <laughs> bad panda, bad panda. <laughs>